Good morning, everybody. This is Gio of Advertising Junction, Recipes and Shorts. And today I'm in collaboration with my fellow teammates at Team Bill with Gio. That is Beverly Black, Pandas Hair Candy, and more. Be Amazing Sylvia and myself. Now, today, in the crock pot, I will be cooking a coconut cake. So come on in the kitchen with me and find out what are the ingredients. And then we will get started. All right, now let's get started. I have my instructions here and I have all the ingredients. First, I am going to uh, line my crock pot with the slow cooker liners because it just makes uh, so it makes it so easy to for a cleanup. So I'm going to put that right there because I forgot to do it the last time and I had to soak the crock pot. All right, now now here are the four ingredients that we need. We need butter, okay, flaked coconut. Sweetened seven ounces, two cans of uh, premium coconut milk or coconut milk, and a, a white cake uh, by Betty Crocker or whatever white cake that you want to use. Okay, next we're going to add the butter, the coconut flakes, coconut milk, and the cake mix to the crock pot. Okay, I have lined my crock pot, as you can see, because that makes for an easy cleanup. All I have to do is remove the liner and then just uh, clean the uh, crock pot underneath. And that doesn't take but a second to do. So now I'm going to get ready and add the coconut milk. Coconut milk. Okay. That's added in there. Add the other can. All right. Add the coconut flakes. Coconut flakes. Oops. <laughs> All right. And next we're going to add the cake mix. And this is a Betty Crocker cake mix. Make sure you get it all in there. Oops, can't get this in there right. <laughs> okay, so now we added all the cake mix in there. And then we're going to Combine it all together. Just make sure it's going to be all together in there. There we go. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to put in the two sticks of butter. There we go. Okay, and then after that, we're going to cook on high for two hours. And then we're going to come back and stir the cake to make sure uh, and make sure to scrape the sides of the bottom for another hour and then serve with vanilla bean ice cream. Okay, I'm back in the kitchen checking on the cake. It's been two hours since it's been in the crock pot. So let's just take a look. Okay, that's the cake in there. As you can see, it's browning around the edges. Now, now it is time for me to stir it up. So I'm going to grab my spoon, my spoon here, remove the top, 
stir it up. Okay. Okay, I have stirred the cake up, and as you can see, it is brown. It's getting brown. So now I'm going to cook it for one more hour, and then it'll be time to serve it. Okay, it's been an hour since I've stirred the cake up and let it cook for another hour. So this is the way that it looks. Okay, it is brown. All right, and now I'm getting ready to plate some and taste it. Yeah. Oh boy, this looks and looks great, and it tastes like coconut pudding cake. It is not too sweet. Oh my God, but it is so delicious. I wasn't thinking that it was going to be this delicious, but it is. As you can see, the uh, coconut flakes are in there. It is brown. It's just so good. Now I'm going to add the uh, vanilla bean ice cream. coconut cake that I cooked for you today in the crock pot is very delicious for the holidays that's around the corner. You only need four cooking ingredients and vanilla bean ice cream. Your family will enjoy this quick and easy recipe. The holidays are just around the corner. And I want to say happy holidays, everybody. And now we're going to go over to Be Amazing Celia to see what she cooked for the holidays. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for watching Advertising Junctions, Recipes, and Shorts.